guys, <clears throat> Lord Catacolf here, and I am so glad to be back to recording. We are actually in a single player world right now. This is what I will be doing until we can get the Creepy Craft server launched again, update it, and get going again on good old Creepy Craft <laughs> with Allie and everybody else. Uh, for those of you that do not know yet, I had took a long extended break. I spent a few months in the hospital, had a lot of stuff going on, but we are currently getting that all under control. I streamed this the other night for a couple hours, <clears throat> just showing you guys a start and all that. And I now am currently going ahead, doing a bunch of mining, just getting that out of the way. So probably a, a good section of mining will be for the next couple hours, and then we'll get going. I've already found a place to set up. I have spawn saved, got a lot of stuff started out of the way, so when we get going, I can go make a perimeter and spawn. Uh, the first things on my list, though, will be a starting iron farm, one or two cell, just something small to get the iron going, um, and then I need to get the slime farm going. Now, I have added a few data packs to this something like this. It is supposed to be just Fast leaf decay, but uh, okay, so it's not going to do it if it's not a tree. But uh, it is also the lumberjack got a pack, I guess, and I need to change that because I only want fast leaf decay, I don't want the whole tree to come down. That's too cheaty for me. <laughs> so I'm going to get back to caving, hopefully, find some diamonds because I've got 52 levels so far from just mining alone, and I can start enchanting some stuff. But we will be right back and hopefully ready to start on the iron farm. Ooh, you know what? Village breeder first, because I'm in a village. I'm going to need some villagers. <laughs> we'll be back, guys. All right, guys. So we are back and we have finished doing up our mining session. I got a nice little start for resources. But as you can see here, <clears throat> I am in the midst of now going around this small little village. And we are gathering up all the villagers we are going to need for our villager breeder. I'm going to have to make a breeder first, and then we will go ahead and get that going. And I'm going to work out a design real quick, just for a cheap and easy iron farm or village breeder. Uh, because I'm going to need nine villagers, nine, nine to twelve villagers. Uh, for my village breeder, <clears throat> or sorry, nine to twelve for the iron farm, but I will need four villagers for my village breeder. So we need nine to twelve for the iron farm, <laughs> all that good stuff. So I just need one more villager here, and then when I come back, I should be able to show you a decent design for a uh, village breeder and then we'll get started on that and then the iron farm oh no trapped here can't do this <laughs> wah, wah. so we are here once again in the new test world for 1.16.4 as you can see it is brand brand new i barely have anything going here but this is the villager breeder I have decided to whip up real quick. So what we have here is just a uh, nine by four pad for crops, two composters, so two villagers only here, five beds over here. And what's going to happen is as they give birth to babies, the babies will go ahead and pathfind to these beds. What will happen is they will drop down and they'll pathfind thinking these are full blocks because of the trap doors. And down here you have a eight long holding area pretty much. And this little setup on the side here is so if the lever is down, the pipe is off and babies and stuff will get held here until they grow up. And then you can go ahead and start letting them all through and you can put yourself in a little pickup station or divert them however you want. 
Uh, it took me like 10 minutes. I just went ahead and looked up Nembomb's updated videos on villager breeding mechanics and stuff. Any changes and all that. Honestly, guys, that's the best thing you can do. Is if you want to make your own stuff, look up Nembomb and a couple other people that just do videos on the mechanics and the changes. That way you're not watching somebody's video and your build is heavily influenced by them and it comes out looking like you pretty much copied or barely changed somebody else's idea. So, just just watch his videos, learn the mechanics, and have fun with yourself here. Now, all this farmland is actually being hydrated by this one water source block right here. And if you think you can move it, you can't. Uh, I had actually ended up putting the water source block right here. Actually, the space, this right here, this is where it was. And what happens is these back four <laughs> uh, farmland blocks can't hydrate. So if you just put it right here in the middle of this, this is nine by four. So you just put it right in the center underneath this one and you're good to go, guys. Hey, guys. <laughs> Sorry for the mix-up here. I know we said that we would be uh, back in the single-player world, but I actually finished up the village breeder altogether from down there to this finished monstrosity now and had to test it to make sure it works. So this will actually be the one we're putting in, and it does work. They go ahead and get dropped down right into there. Let's go ahead and take this. So what will happen is the babies will come through. They'll get sent right there. And then this lever right here will hold the babies until they grow up. Go ahead, let them down. They will land. A cart will be ejected and they'll get picked up and moved right on to wherever you want them moved to. And so a nice automatic system all in one. Uh, the lob is just there to get rid of them as they go. <laughs> So now that we have that actually finished and stuff, let's go look at the area I've cleared. And we are back in the single player world here. I've got myself a nice wide area cleaned out for the villager breeder to go somewhere right around here. I'm going to push this back by a few blocks. And then over here is where the iron farms will go. I'm going to make use of this ravine right here. Have the iron farms up and over it and then let them drop down in there and collection. All that good stuff. And I've started cleaning up the village a bit. As you can see, getting rid of a lot of just the lumpy grass areas everywhere. I've got villagers hidden up in here to start the breeder. I've been farming, as you can tell, just to keep irking by on some food. And then every once in a while, I go run up over there and kill up all the sheep and everything. Um, I had to go ahead and make myself an actual little storage house, too. Now. As you can see, I have brick variants of andesite, granite, and diorite because I'm using a pack for that. <laughs> Cheaty. I know, but it looks good. And as you can see, you know, I'm getting stuff slowly going here using dirt for markers. But yeah, so that's that here. Um, we're actually getting to the end of the episode here or the amount of time we have. So what I want to get done real quick is I have a schematic file that I saved. Uh, do I not have a stick? Here we go. Let's just grab this. I do have a schematic file, and I want to get the schematic in place. Oh, let's do that real quick. And then I'll go ahead and get this built quickly before uh, we end the episode. Oop, do I have logs? Do I have anything for dirt? I don't. Let's go ahead and let's grab some wood planks here. Okay. So, schematic placement. We need to go ahead and load the final version here. Finished. Let's load that. All right, where did it come up at? Oh, look at that. Um, go ahead, bring that on over here. 
<laughs> so this part will actually be cut out so we can move it down three four five blocks it looks like so let's see one two three four five Uh, we need to move it down one more block. Oh, one more. Ooh, oh, that's the lava I can hear there. All right. There we go. Perfect. And then what we're going to have to do is build it up in the sky there. I'll put a roof up top. But in fact, actually, I think I'm going to move this over. Yeah. Where we end up with it right here. Yeah, that's better. Uh yeah. So that'll be perfect, guys. And uh yeah. So I'm gonna get to work on this. When we come back, we will hopefully have it up and running. It's been a lot of work just to get this first episode out, guys. I hope you enjoy it. All right, we are finished, guys. We got this all nice cleared out, and I have got the village breeder all set up as you can see here they will uh breed up through and um do i have any glass left on me no i don't well you can see right here between the two composters there's a little drop here and what happens is they will oh look we already have one <laughs> they try to make it to the beds but there's trap doors there tricking them thinking it's a full block and they'll just come down here and wait to grow up so the reason I did it like this just for now is so that uh, I can lay some track down right here and minecarts will actually pick them up through this little corner and we'll send them on up once I get the iron farm going. And the iron farm I'm going to put into place. Really haven't decided if I'm going to put it over here or maybe somewhere right around here. I actually think I should probably put it somewhere right around here. And it will just be a little one, like I said. Nothing big. I'm, I'm just looking for like 500 or so iron an hour to start out. And then on top of all that, I actually got a uh, little storage area put in because I needed it badly. We're using dirt to go ahead and mark out everything for right now. <laughs> but not too bad, not too bad. I'm really loving the data pack that gives me the brick versions of all the different stone. And we got ourselves a nether portal. So I can start making observers and whatnot. I <laughs> uh, got the village cleaned up. And I'm starting to get some um, sugar cane going here. But now that I actually have a nether portal and can make some observers. I'm going to go ahead and set up some automatic sugar cane farms. And I'm going to be using a bud switch and detector so that it will just harvest it by itself. Not on a timer or any kind of like big sugarcane farm. Something I can just let run for a while. That way, I can start building up and go ahead and get everything going I need. I still need an enchanting table to start off with. Once I get that enchanting table and can start enchanting things, I will be working next on the slime farm. And I need to track me down a witch hut so I can go ahead and make that. Because you know me. You know what I do. Iron farm. Slime farm. Witch farm. Right off the bat. Gets you everything you need to be a technical player, guys. <laughs> 
So I want to thank you for joining me in the first episode of Lonely Survival. I won't be streaming this as much. It'll just be episodes. But I hope you look forward to it. Please hit those comments and let me know what you guys think of the new series. Uh, as I mentioned in the stream, it will just be going until we can get Creepy Craft back online. But if you guys happen to like this and want to see me playing in single player and the new updated versions, I'll actually put forth some real effort into this. <laughs> but I need to go ahead and actually get designing on the iron farm, something of my own. And as always, I hope you enjoyed. I know I did. Down in the description are the links to my Twitter, Facebook, <clears throat> Patreon, Twitch, all of that good stuff. Also, all the other members of Prototech. Go check them out. Give them some love. I guarantee you, between all of us, we cover all of your redstone, farm, and technical needs, guys. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.